in the Okay, so for our first problem, uh, determine the maximum flexural stress developed on the beam shown. So these are the loading. You have a uniform load of 6 kN per meter and a concentrated load of 15 kN acting at a distance of 2 meter away from. So, gawin na natin siya as support A. So the cross section of your beam so rectangular lang naman siya with a dimension of 150 mm by 250 mm so wala tayong magiging problema sa pagkuha ng C and yung I so ang kailangan na lang natin is to determine so ang pinapahanap is the maximum flexural stress so the formula that we are going to use is yung MC over I or the M, the maximum moment multiplied by C over I Okay, so let's solve for the value of <laughs> Okay, so hanapin natin yung value ng maximum moment But before that, uh, isolve it muna natin yung formula MC over I So again, what is the first step in uh, Solving the maximum moment. So, gawa muna tayo ng shear time. Shear and uh, moment diagram. So, the first step again is to determine first the value of the reaction. So, kasi dito, meron kang reaction A and reaction B. Pangalanan natin siya as point A and point B. Okay, so ano mo munang gagawin? Tama. It's either mag-moment ka dito sa dalawang support na to. So ang gawin ko na lang, moment ako sa point. Dami na daan sa sakyan. Mabas na. The stress. So moment ka sa point B in order to find the reaction at A. So take summation ng moment at B equals to 0. So what will be the equation? We have 3RA is equals to 6 times 3 times 3 over 2 plus 15 multiplied by 1. So the value of your RA is equals to 1. 6 times 3 squared divided by 2 plus 15 divided by 3. So the value of the reaction is 14. And then when you take summation of forces vertical, mahanap natin yung value ng RB. So that is just equals to so 6 times 3 plus 15 and then minus RA, which is equals to 14. So RB is equals to 1. So 6 times 3 plus 15 minus 40. So that is 19 kilo newton. Okay, so i-plot lang natin. Ano? So ang sabi dito sa point A, tataas daw ako ng 14 kilo newton. So ito, pataas siya. Reaction at A. So taas lang tayo dito ng 14. So, magbitude dito is 14 kilo newton. Again, sure diagram. So, mga units niya is unit of force lang or kilo newton. And then next, so, hanggang dito lang tayo sa point na to kasi meron tayong concentrated load. Kailangan natin dito, dito tumigil. So, coming from 14, so, ano mangyayari? Since itong uniform load mo is pababa, so, mababawasan siya. And knowing na ang, uh, di ba, ang itong rectangular shape that is considered as a zero degree curve. So, coming, coming from zero degree, magiging first degree curve siya or in a shape of a triangle. So, coming from 14, so, mama minus an siya ng minus 6 multiplied by distance of 2. So, minus 12. So, 14 minus 12, so that will be 2. 
So, first degree. Ayan. Yung triangle shape. So, ang value ng, unit, ng yung shear force dito is 2 kN. Okay. So, meron ka 15 kN acting downward. So, coming from 2, bababa siya ng 15. Or that will be, so, 15 minus 2, 13. So, this will be negative 13 kN. Okay, so, since negative yan, uh, punta na tayo sa point B. So, negative 13. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron ka pa ulit pababang force at a distance of 1. So, negative 13 minus 6 times 1. Or, that will be negative 19 kN. Okay, so... At point B, meron kang reaction B, which is 19. So, tataas ka dito ng 19. So, that will be 0. Okay. So, that is another way of checking. Dapat, pag dating mo sa kabilang dulo, magsisiro ka. Okay. So, please take note of that. Ayan. So, meron na tayong shear diagram. Itong shear diagram, though hindi natin ginagamit ngayon, dun sa sunod na type ng stresses in beam, yung horizontal shearing stress. So, mahalaga rin to ha, pagkuha ng tawag dyan. Shear. Okay, next will be for the moment. So, again, general rule, kapag nandito ka naman dito sa support, zero moment yan. O mag-start ka sa zero. Okay, so, zero, and then, ano nga mangyayari? Hanggang dito tayo sa point na to. Okay, so you just need to compute for the area of this, uh, this trapezoid. Trapezoid siya na. So coming from first degree, magiging second degree curve siya. Or magiging parabola. So paano mo malalaman yung shape? Ito kasi ang pwede mangyari. It's either, pag ganito ka, pag ganyan, So, sundan nyo na lang yung compass ng ball pen ko. Or, pwede rin na pag-anon. Pabundok. Ayan. Ayan. pag -anon. So, paano mo malalaman kung pag ba? Or pag -anon? Pakita na nga natin. Pwede kasi pag eh. Or pwede rin na pag -anito. So, paano mo malalaman dyan? Kung alin dyan sa dalawa ang gagamitin. Okay, so, babase ka doon sa iyong previous diagram, which is the shear diagram. So, you need to identify between these two values. Ano ba yung area na ikaw consider natin? Di ba ito? Area ng trapezoid. So, alin yung mas, alin yung uh, maximum and minimum value? So, alin, between these two values, 14 and 2, alin dyan yung maximum, alin ang minimum? So, di ba mas malaki yung 14? So, that will be the maximum value. So, pag maximum, coming from 0, pag maximum, hindi denote mo lang siya as a vertical line. And kapag minimum, siya ay horizontal. So, paano ko malalaman naman if dito sa taas or dito sa baba? Tingnan mo yung previous diagram. So, nasaan ba siya ng shear plane mo? Di ba nasa upper portion siya? O nandito sa taas? Ayan na. Di ba ito taas? Ito sa baba. So, kung pataas yan, so ito, pataas din yung ano mo. O magiging positive value ng moment. So, again, this is the maximum. And yun to mo, that is the minimum. Pag minimum naman, horizontal line. Okay? So, mangyari dyan, pagdugsungin mo lang yung dalawa. Okay? So, ayan. Yun yung shape niya. And paano mo makuha yung value? So, again, take the area of this. Ano ba yung area ng trapezoid? Diba, area ng trapezoid is equals lang sa h over 2 na quantity of base 1 plus base 2. So, ito yung base 1, base 2. Yung height mo, ito. Yung span na 2 meter. Or that will be 2 over 2 multiplied by 14 plus 2. O, ito will be 16 kilonewton meter. And then next, again, kapag nandun pa sa support, dapat mapagsiro natin yung moment niya pagdating dito sa 
support me. So coming from 16 again, ito, just take the area of this trapezoid. So ganun lang ulit. Tingnan mo yung mga preceding value. Yung mga existing value ng ano mo. Alin yung maximum, alin yung minimum. So alin yung maximum between these two? So 13 and 19. Take the absolute value ha. So alin na mas malaki dito sa dalawa? Di ba yung 19? So yung 19 mo, since maximum yan, and alam natin na magsisiro dito. So dito ko na siya doon. So, pag maximum, vertical. Pag minimum, horizontal. So, ibig sabihin, ang deflection niya, anyway, hindi naman natin kailangan pa identify yung deflection since ito naman is symmetrical. Ibig sabihin, yung compression, ay yung stress ng compression and tension is just the same. So, ipakita na din natin. So, itong mga deflection mo, kailangan mo siya. Doon susunod na topic natin. I hope matakil natin. Or, ibigay ko na lang yung lecture. Baka kasi natin hindi matapos kasi hindi naman pa pala nung ano. So, i-discuss pa rin naman natin siya. Kahit tapos na yung uh, yung online class na to. Ano? So, libre yun. Okay, so, ayun nga. So, 16. Blah, blah, blah. So, check natin kung magsisira dito. So, ano nga yung area ng trapezoid? So, pa, dito ko nalang sulat ha. So, 16 coming from 16 and then minus yung area nito. Since nasa baba siya, kaya ako siya minus. So, h over 2. So, 1 over 2 multiplied by quantity of base 1. So, 13 plus 19. So, diba? Coming from 16, so minus 2. 13 plus 19. Okay, so that is equals to 0. So, tama. nag tayo yung moment dito. So, tama yung value natin ng moment diagram. So, ang value na kailangan natin is ito. 16 kilo newton meter. Okay, so hindi pa tayo tapos sa ito tan lang. So, we need to analyze Oh, we need to solve for the value of C and I. Again, hindi naman magiging problema since symmetrical to. Okay, so nasan yung neutral axis or asan ba yung centroid natin? Di ba nandito? Yung x above axis mo or the neutral axis, pareho lang din yan. Huwag malilito. So, ayan. So, ano nga yung C? It's either ito yung y top or y bottom. So, since symmetrical yan, ito naman, so ano magiging value nyan? Di ba kalahati lang ng 250? So, 250. Oh. 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 5. So, yan yung value ng C. And then, yung moment of inertia. So, since symmetrical naman siya yan. So, BH cube over 12 lang. Wala yung AD squared since uh, nag-coincide naman siya dito sa centroid ng... Uh, okay, so, I think we can now solve for the value of your flexural stress. So, the flexural stress is just equals to mc over i. Kung saan yung moment mo. So, 16 kilonewton meter. So, again, para ma-compute, uh, ma-convert natin siya. Dalhin natin siya sa unit na newton mm. Para mahabol natin yung newton per mm squared. Kasi yung newton per mm squared is just equals to what? So, mega pascal lang din. Ano? So, ito yung multiply mo ng 1,000. So, the 1, 1,000, yung isang 1,000 mo is for the kilonewton para maging newton. And then, squared mo. So, yung isang 1,000 is for the meter para maging mm. Okay? So, newton mm na siya. And then, yung C mo, so, PD ka lang dyan, since symmetrical pareho lang. So, 1, 2, 5 over I, the moment of inertia. So, again, hawakan mo lang to. Alin ang B? So, yung 150 and then yung height, 250 cube over 12. So, what is the value of your flexural stress? So, 16 times 1,000 squared times 125 times 12 divided 150 divided 250 cube. So, that is 10.24 mega pascal. So, pinutin ko lang ulit. Just to make sure. Okay, 
So that is 10.24 megapascal. So this is your answer for the pressurized. Okay, so let's proceed with the next problem. I think yung sunod na problem is...